And what's the first thing they did when they got to school? They had to learn the active shooter drills. Duck and cover. Building schools that have abutments so your teacher can hide behind it if a shooter comes in with a semi-automatic weapon. That's a morally bankrupt country when we have to do that. Because there's answers. There's answers. I'm a Second Amendment guy. I own two shotguns, a 12 and a 20 gauge. My two boys, I always ski shoot, they duck hunt. We both did, he passed away, but they duck hunt. But folks, the Second Amendment's not absolute. If one of you stood up here and yelled, fire, and everybody rushes out, or shooter, everybody rushes out, and someone gets hurt, you're liable. It's not free speech. You can't say I was just exercising free speech. There has never, there's not a single amendment that's absolute. Now it's one single one. And the Second Amendment is said from the beginning. You're allowed to limit who can own a weapon. You're not going to give a weapon to somebody who is a convicted criminal and still a, for a violent crime. You're not going to give a weapon, not over my dead body, you can give a weapon because I was able to get it done to a wife abuser who's been convicted. You're not going to be able to give a weapon to people who can't pass a legitimate background check. Look, some of you are, you know, deal with, uh, you know, duck hunting and, uh, you know, international foul. You all know out here, I assume a lot of your own weapon guns. Well, if you are, if you go duck hunting, you're only allowed to have three shells in your shotgun. Why in the heck can you have a magazine <laughs> with 100 rounds in it? If, if you need 100 rounds to, to hunt, you're in the wrong damn business.